Well, hello, my name is Dr. Scott Kuhn. I'm a chiropractor and I've been teaching here at Northeast for the past 25 years. One of my responsibilities is to teach the Gonstead elective and we also have a club that the students can uh, take advantage of from first try all the way up through graduation. The Gonstead adjustive technique. It's a method of, of chiropractic adjustment that was developed by Clarence Gonstead. Uh, he practiced from the 1920s until the 1970s. So he had a quite a long run and he was probably one of the most influential chiropractors on the technique of chiropractic in the history of chiropractic. His approach was to give a common language in the description of exactly what was happening to the segment that they were intending to correct. So he would give a motion segment a listing which was like a malposition of say a lumbar vertebrae. And in that, his, that descriptive term could then be used by other chiropractors no matter where they were located throughout the country and identify exactly what sort of adjustment would respond best to, the, uh, to that practitioner. So if I was to ask my patient to lay on their side for me please and to set up a PSRM, that lower vertebrae what I would have done ahead of time is I would have visualized exactly what the posture of the individual looked like. I may actually take a reading or use instrumentation to run down the spine and look for temperature differences at different levels of the spine. And I would also use motion palpation, static palpation, and really get a sense of what exactly that individual needed and be specific to that as, I, as, as specific as I possibly could. And the specificity of the adjustment was kind of the, uh, the calling card to the Gonstead technique and that they tried to be as reproducible as possible irregardless of when the adjustment was being given. So for a PSRM of L5, I would set the patient up for a typical low back adjustment like many different techniques utilize and palpate the L5 vertebrae, go to the pelvic crest, come down, I'll probably get into like L4, go down to L5. And in this case, I want to get on the mammillary process, which is just above that, come in with my pisiform, and I'm going to set up the adjustment to correct that movement and then drop into the patient. In the Gunstead technique, one of the more famous positions that a patient would be in when making a spinal correction to the cervical spine would be what we call seated. And the Gunstead cervical chair is, uh, you know, you're gonna find in pretty much any Gonstead practice that you go to, all right? So here as we're seated with uh, Ryan in the chair, we uh, would have already gone ahead and visualized and um, kind of stepped back and look at, at the tone of the muscles and the position of the shoulders, the position of his head, and just get a sense of where he's at from a static position posturally. And then we would go in and we would motion palpate which segment we felt was most restricted, if we have a history with the patient of, of treating them previously, we're going to know what specific areas we need to focus in on and what is their, usually the recurring complaint areas. So when we set up a specific adjustment, we know the listing of the, of the vertebrae that we're going to be adjusting. So if we were going to set up, say, the C5 vertebrae for a PLS, all right, if we were to tell any chiropractor across the country what that listing was for that vertebrae, they would be able to reproduce that. In this instance, a PLS vertebrae, I'm going to get on the spinous with the tip of my finger here. I'm going to have my stabilization hand. I'm going to have them laterally flex kind of into that. And I'm going to very gently kind of rotate their nose towards the side that I'm contacting for the adjustment to reproduce that coupled motion that I'm trying to, to create and then adjust in a P to A motion through the patient with my stabilization hand coming down and allowing those other vertebrae to be stabilized as I adjust, okay? And that type of movement is what we call a coupled movement, and that's gonna help the overall functionality of the cervical spine to move optimally and hopefully express the best health that it can.